Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Right, today's little treat for you. This one was came part of a bundle from a good friend of mine and a good friend of the channel. The channel is called Somewhere in Time. A good heavy metal name. Yeah, up the irons. Now I won't say the gentleman's name because I, he didn't say if I could say it or no. So I'm going to call him Bruce. That's not his real name, but I'm going to call him Bruce from Iron Maiden, of course. This is the Schemey, or Schemey, 1456, or as I couldn't call it, the Heavy Metal Watch. It's an absolute belter, an absolute umdinger of a watch. First of all, we'll go over some uh, details with it. As you can see, it's uh, very, very, very strongly based on another brand. Uh, could that be Casio, maybe? Could it be? Who can say? Who can say? No, it's a real good quality timepiece. I've been very, very impressed with it. I've been umbered off my wrist since um, Bruce sent it me from uh, somewhere on time, or somewhere in time. Sorry, somewhere in time. I'll get it right in a minute. Uh, obviously, it's digital. Got a glass display on it. Band material is uh, stainless steel. Lovely, thick quality strap on it. Obviously you get a pressed clasp on it there. No milled. For the price point, well, what else can you expect? But it's very, very comfortable to wear. Lovely display on it. And it's just so heavy. It's a real beauty. Basically the heavy metal, or it could be the Schemey, or Schemey, knuckle duster. It's a beauty. Uh, stainless steel, which I can believe by the weight of it. I wish I had some scales to tell you how heavy it is, but I might be able to find something on that and put it in the uh, description down below. Um, it's a casual sports fashion watch, they call it. Uh, it's got water resistancy. Uh, the information I found on it, this made me laugh. It's resistant to sweat, small raindrops, not the big ones, small raindrops, and it's not afraid of small raindrops, but please don't flush. So don't flush this one. Bubble water and bathing, etc. There you are. So please don't flush, and it's not afraid of small raindrops. What more do you want, eh? What more do you want? Um, it's uh, around about 42 millimeter diameter. That's the case thickness. Sorry, that's the diameter of it, beg your pardon. And the case thickness is about 11 mil. 22 mil band width on it. And the band length is around about 230 millimeters or so. I had to take out five links uh, for it to fit my puny seven inch wrist. I have a woman's hand. Anyone who can get that reference, put it in the comments, you get a bonus point. Now let's get into it. As I say, thanks again to um, Bruce. Not your real name, but there you go. Right, first of all, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you the light on this. It's just incredible. Look at that. I wonder if I can reach the light. Yes, I can. Here we go. If I just put the light on again. Look at that, fantastic light on it. And it does work really, really, really well. That wasn't a fart, that was my elbow going across the table. So in case any of you were wondering, thinking that dirty bugger, he's just farted. Well, I didn't. Okay, push one button. You got an alarm time there. Obviously I have not set that. Stopwatch, pretty much a meat and normal vegetables for that, isn't it? Got your thousandths of a second there. Or is that hundredths of a second? I can't remember. Please forgive me, I'm very old. And uh, you can reset that doing that. Push it again. You've got dual time, which I haven't messed about with at all. Countdown timer. Well, this one's set for countdown for um, 22 minutes. Um, again, I've not messed around with that because I don't use uh, countdown timers. And then you're back to the time. Let's go through that again, see if I haven't missed it. I don't think I have. Dual time, countdown timer, and there we go. All in all, it's a blooming handsome watch. 
you can see the way the case is designed it gives the impression seeing that's part of the uh, actual strap of it it gives the impression of a much bigger case now I like that and I wish I could tell you how heavy it is I really do but uh, unfortunately I can't I haven't got a, a, you know small scales I don't want to get the big kitchen scales out the old-fashioned one with the old weights show you the back of it a moment there got a bit of brand in there on the deployant clasp there's the back schemey and the battery code again which I do like I think that's a darn good idea I wish every watch company would do that give you an idea what the battery is inside so you haven't got to take the back off and find out it tells you brilliant idea I do like that this is really on one of my recommended lists I've looked at a few prices for them there are a lot of them are under 30 pounds I'm sure there's a few that are under that as well but uh, for the price point you can't really go wrong for it you really can't I'll give you a wrist shot look at that look and that's on my seven inch wrist I think it looks really cool doesn't stick up too high so you can get away wearing a shirt with it if you wanted to sorry about the reflections there it's highly polished you've got look at this for a big word hey look at this listen to this longitudinal brushing going down there look at that eh? whoa I bet you're impressed now aren't you very very well worth buying okay thanks so much for watching take care and uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one